I'm so hyped. Like, this trap's for Boku no Hero uh, 205. Flip. Okay, everyone's been, not, okay, not everyone's been concerned, that's a generalization, but people have been complaining about, like, the shortness of the chapters. In my opinion, this chapter was pretty, this was a good, decent length. It was either, like, 16, 17 pages, something like that. I think it was 16 pages. But nonetheless, um, this chapter was sick. This is probably my favorite fight so far in this arc. Mainly because, um, throughout this fight, when we were seeing people like Mudman, Honanuki, or, um, who, who else is kind of cool in that team? Like Tetsu Zetsu. Like we were seeing these kind of teams and obviously they had Todoroki, they had Flippin, um, Ida, like they were such good teams and awesome characters that I didn't want one team to win and one team to lose. So I'm happy that it's a draw. But do you know how mad this is? The guy drops a building. Like flippin' hell. Did I okay, I, I think I said this last in my last video, like last chapter. Um, these guys are crazy. I know the whole plus ultra, you know, go beyond your limits, but like this is a bit mad. Like um, they're going to the points of you nearly burning yourself, uh, dropping buildings on each other. Like, it's just, it's kind of funny, but, like, what I want, in all seriousness, is, like, Aizara Sensei and Vlad to be like, okay, you guys are going too far, kind of thing. Because, like, it was so hot that the cameras were melting. What's her name? Um, the horn girl. She was, like, way, 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 way out there, and she was still feeling the heat. Even All Might said, young Todoroki has Endeavor's flames. Do you know how, do you know how, um, crazy that of a statement is? Because that's just not lip service. It really isn't. If he's saying that, that's it. We've just, we just came from, a, from an arc of Endeavor fighting, um, Nomi. Um, so it's kind of mad, if you think about it, because when we saw that fight, we were seeing Endeavor, he's going all, like, his... What is it, Prometheus? It's not Prometheus. Um, Pro. Oh well, I forgot. Prominence burn. Like we see Endeavor doing prominence burn and all like these super high techniques, and we're just like, right, this guy's crazy. Like the heat is high, and then you're seeing sort of Rocky go and release it, and it's and and in the chapter, like in one of the um the bubbles, Endeavor's just like, you're still now so past me. Kind of. And then All Might says it as, like, confirmation. And it just shows you how strong Todoroki is. Um, he's just getting stronger and stronger, and it's kind of crazy. But what I find kind of comical is every time Todoroki de not gets, like, a new move, or, like, he kind of upgrades, it's like, he it doesn't come easy, or, like, he, he, he loses, kind of, if you think about it. Like, when he kind of... Um, when he's, like, he, he's, he's about to do, like, a badass technique, but... In the end, something happens. <laughs> so it's kind of funny. But um, either way, man, like, this chapter... First of all, I'm loving Mob Man. I'm loving, one, his character is awesome. Two, I just loved how he came in and he was just like, Tetsu, Tetsu, stop. You'll melt. Comes in, um, throws a flipping pipe on Todoroki in the back of their head. Um, and then Ida! Like, Ida! Ida's so great. Okay. Um, it's amazing to see Ida now back in the forefront of the series. Now, we've known how, you know, we know, we kind of know reasons why he wasn't at the front in the sense of how, like, he was taking out his muffler. So, obviously, he was, like, in a season of recuperating and, and like, recovery um, and training, of course. But, like, ever since the Stain arc, we've, we've, we saw a lot of um, flaws in his character and in the sense of how he was just being proud and he was... Just chasing after his own selfish agenda. In a sense, yeah, it was um valid, you know, like um I'm avenging my brother. But yeah, as a hero, it's not the best thing. So it's amazing to see him learning from his mistakes and he's actually carrying the name of Ingenium, like he's actually taking it forward and the things which he wasn't doing in the stain arc, he's now doing it now. Like he's going to save his friends first. He's running and dashing kind of thing. Um and like other than that, he's keeping a cool head, like, he's in the stain arc. Obviously, it was an emotional time, like, his brother just got taken out. But, like, it's really amazing to see how far Ida's growing, and I'm just loving it. Like, um, I'm really liking what he's doing here. And what I really liked about this fight in general is we showcased a various cast of characters. Todoroki, Ida, the Mudman, um, even um, Ujiro and, like... Uh, what's his name? Shoji to an extent. Like when Shoji says in this chapter, like I've always, I'm always used to being feared. Um, his technique octo blow is pretty cool. I didn't see that coming, so that's really awesome. Um, like Ujiro just can't get, he can't run away from this whole sense of being ordinary. It's kind of funny. It's just a running gag right now. But yeah, I really, really did enjoy this chapter. I feel like 
Horikoshi did amazing in uh, in delivering sus like tension and just like delivering. It was just like climax. It was amazing. Um, I really was like at the edge of my seat when I was reading this chapter. I was like, oh my gosh! And like the artwork was phenomenal. When you when you read the first page, the angles that was going in, like it was such dynamic angles with like it was as if like it was hmm. I, the focus was on Tetsu Tetsu. But, like, he was coming in a punch, but the way that Horikoshi drew it, it was, like, from his back. So, like, it was just so awesome, and, like, the shading and the artwork was phenomenal. Um, I feel like with, with all these past couple of weeks of being short chapters, don't get me wrong, the chapters have been amazing still. We get this chapter, and I'm like, yeah, cool, I'm satisfied. Like, I loved it. Um, and just seeing Todoroki and how he's just uh, processing all of this still, in the sense of how, like, he's just basically, he's basically at the point where, like, okay, cool, um... Yeah, you suck, Endeavor, but for me, I'm going to become better than you. I need to become stronger kind of thing. So he's just raising the limit. And it was it was really mirroring the previous arc with um uh, Endeavor fighting Nomi. It, it really was uh, because, like, Sodoroki was just like, raise the limit, go higher, burn more. And it was just really mirroring what um, Endeavor said as well. But it also just mirrors the sense of this whole plus ultra spirit in Boku no Hero Academia. And these students, they really have it. They really grabbed it. Um, and latched onto it. They really made it their own as well. Like these guys, they're, they're using Plus Ultra in practical, in the practicals, not even in real life. And Tetsu Tetsu says, if, what's the point if I'm not putting my life on the line in practice? Am I really going to do it in real life? So that, yeah, there is some truth to that statement. There is some truth. Um, still kind of crazy just the things that they're going to. Like, I remember saying it how many other chapters ago. I was just like, raw, like, Okay, this is one thing which always not bugs me, but like it just kind of makes me think how like the endurance that these characters have is a bit mad. Um, I wouldn't say it's very grounded in that sense because um, let's give an example. Ida, Ida comes in and he's just like obviously he's extremely fast and he'll come in and give you a kick to the face, like a kick to the face which will either send you flying or, or push you into the ground. And I'm like thinking you're not knocked out, like. It's crazy to, and I just have to give props to my man. Like he get he he gets kicked in the face, gets him flying, and he's literally on the verge of losing consciousness. And he's just like, I can't bring people down with me, so I'm gonna have to do a last minute attack. And it's awesome the way that he even acknowledged Momo, and it shows you that obviously he was learning from about the previous battles that they, he was obviously watching the previous battles, and he was like, okay, let me take notes. So it kind of gives you insight into his character, what kind of person he is. When I first saw him and the fact that he was like recommended just like Todoroki, I thought, okay, cool, this is just like a carbon copy of Todoroki. But not really, he's, 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 he is his own character. He seems very analytical, he, cool-headed. One, he's extremely powerful. I love his quirk. Um, I probably love it more than Todoroki's, even more than Inasa's. Like, if you don't know me, I'm a big elemental kind of person. I love the sense of like elements, fire, rock water all that kind of stuff so like when inasa came in and he was using wind i was just like this is pretty sick but now that mudman is using like he softened things and he can harden it like it's amazing i really like it although it's not it's um not in um what's the word it's not directly or like inherently elemental it kind of is to an extent so yeah but um yeah mudman's quirk's awesome his character is amazing the fact that he even used Momo because the whole thing with Momo was that fight was pretty cool. Like she came in, she had a plan for a plan. She had everything thought out. But when she got knocked out, she didn't really have a plan for that. Or like, yeah, when she knocks out, when she got knocked out, the whole team lost. Um, whereas Mudman Hananuki, he's kind of making, um, what's the word? He's making sure that even if he gets knocked out, that that the fight's not lost. So it's kind of cool. And I really love the line that he said, like. You may not have thought I was the type to look after my friends or like to save them, right? So that was kind of cool. And the way that he just like came from the, the ground, that was pretty awesome. So yeah, guys, please tell me your thoughts in the comments below what you thought about this chapter. This chapter was just hype, in my opinion. If you have anything I'd say, please drop a like. That will be greatly appreciated. And I'll see you next week um, for that greatness that is Book of the Hero, chapter 206. Peace out, guys, and goodbye.